Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the annotate tool, and it's kind of going to just let you draw in your 3D viewer. You can also use this in like if you wanted to animate and things, but really for the 3D viewer that we're in here, it's just going to let you draw uh, things. So say, you know, if I, if I scroll out here a little bit and just say, hello, everyone just write something here. So hello, I, I don't really ever use this tool that much, um, but notice if we click and drag around, we've got hello kind of just floating in the scene. You can use this to just write notes or say if you're doing tutorials, which I probably should use it more, but I don't, uh, but maybe I will. Uh, but uh, that is how you use the annotate tool. You can even change the color of it if you wanna do that. You can see all of your different ones. If you wanna turn them off and on, change the, thickness and the opacity like say we wanted to drag it down and the placement is also important so this one is just kind of staying on a plane that we drew it so you know we were looking at it kind of like this and it's kind of imagine there's a plane uh, like a 2d plane facing us almost if there's like a piece of glass on the view direction we're looking and through this 3d cursor here so when we you know, pull around, you can see it's kind of facing where we were just looking over there. And then we have three or, or to view. So this is going to just stay in your view. So we can just come out here, write something like stay. This is the view placement. And if you have a pen tablet, it may be a lot easier. I'm using the mouse here, so it's a little gross. But now stay is going to stay no matter which view you're looking at. So if you just wanted an overall general note on your scene or like the title of your, your design, you could do something like that. And then we have surface, which is going to project your lines onto the surface. So say if we wanted to draw like a mustache on Suzanne, you know, everybody draw a little, little French mustache there. Maybe we want to do a little eyeballs. Yeah, this will actually project onto the mesh, you know, maybe give her some, some hairs. <laughs> and this one went up and notice it actually went to the very, very, very far edge of our 3D uh, volume here because it's a box. So it was like, whoa. So it is very touchy. You could also turn off, you know, your 3D printer box if you don't want that to happen. You can draw on things like that all free. Um, so yeah, so that is the annotate tool. Again, like I said, I don't really ever use it, but if you want to, you can do that. And notice it didn't add like new layers. It just did all of this on one uh, kind of layer. So if you wanted to add more, you just hit that little plus here. And then this is our new layer for our, our annotate tool. And so that's the basics of the annotation tool. But notice if we, let me click out here. Um, if you see, there's a little tiny triangle right there. And that means you can click and hold and you've got more options. So you can do annotate line and that's going to do, let's make a new layer here. So just everybody make a new little layer there. And so this is annotate line. It's going to kind of just, if you click and drag, it's going to make little lines. You know, say if you wanted to, do like a little dotted line and point to a spot and you could do that. You can even change and add little arrows if you want. So, Hey everybody, you know, look that way. The original start point is where the arrow will be. So if we want her to look this way, we can do like that. Her eyes are looking that way. The wind is blowing through her hair. So that's something you could do with the line tool. So if you're working on projects with people, or just wanting to put arrows on your designs, you can do that. So now let's click and hold. We have the annotation polygon. So this is going to be similar to the line one, but it's going to kind of click and drag almost like if you've ever just done any illustration and then you can click them there and then just hit escape to kind of lock that in. So everybody draw, uh, you know, some polygon lines on their scene and notice there we go. We got some little polygons. So say so if you wanted to highlight one, you could do polygons on the surface, like I need to fix, oh, and we see we didn't hit escape, so it tried to continue the line here. So we'll just hit escape and that will close it on your keyboard. And now we can start a new one. So if we were like, hey, I need you to fix this one polygon, you know, you could highlight something like that if you wanted. Um, so that's what that does. And I'll just hit escape to close it. And now if we click and hold, we have the eraser. And now you can just click and erase lines if you're done with them. So 
that is what we're going to do. Just go ahead and clear all your lines. Unless you're partial to your lines and you really like them, then keep them. Um, another way you could do it is just go back to the annotate tool, go to your notes, and just delete those notes. So that's your challenge. This one is just play around with the annotation tool. See if you think you would ever need it or want to use it and then clear out your notes or just turn them off if you want to keep them. And so there we go. I'm going to just close those out and save the project. And let's jump into the next lesson, which is going to be the measure tool. Here we go.